Well, welcome to another Moonshot, wherever it is that you're joining me from around the world. It's been a little while and a lot of water's passed under the bridge since my last sharing. But recently I got the opportunity to join an adventure racing group on a training exercise at North Stradbroke Island. And it was another teaching experience that certainly added some depth to my personal journey. And as I look to stay aware of change and how kind learn from or adapt to it, there were several moments of choice for me to construct new thoughts and behavior patterns that would enlarge my capacity to perform better when change and challenge were presented before me. And one of these I'll share with you here, yet allow me first to set the context of this brief 90 second message, where I'll share five tips on how to successfully adapt to change because you will either encounter change or you will create change in most, if not all, of the areas of your life. So North Stradbroke Island is a large island in a string of land masses, sand-based land masses that line the east coast of South Queensland. And when we arrived at the ferry terminal shortly after sunrise on a Saturday morning, a team leader asked, if I'd be up to paddle a 13 and a half kilometer stretch from the mainland across to the island. Now, this is clearly a first since my experience with kayaking has been only on canals or lakes. So a choppy open water stretch of that distance where I would be responsible to lead paddle and steer my kayak would demand immediate adaptation of survival mode. Yet I didn't has hesitate and with a zesty of course, I grabbed a paddle and a vest. Now, this is clearly a decision without planning that dumped on me a myriad of new and unmeasured components, including inexperienced tidal movements and swelling wave crests, new paddle grip and stroke technique, core and shoulder rotations, wind impact, pace to sustain the distance, and also once underway being told that this was a hazardous stretch that was known for shark attacks. Now, I've definitely been in and endured more dangerous situations than this one, but this was way outside my experience and without any notice or planning yet because I'm always keen on new challenges, I did leap at the chance. Plus, past experience has revealed to me that if others have achieved something, then if I follow how they do it, then I should realize the same outcome. Now, every day, and often each hour and sometimes minutes, there are opportunities that present themselves to us as new tasks or challenges. Now, some of these we have time to plan and prepare for, yet most are only when we're prepared to recognize and act on them. Back to the Stradi adventure, the following day, our group of 25 plus, yes, I did survive, 25 plus explorers, went on some trails across the island on mountain bikes. And being sand-based, this was intensely punishing for those of us who were inexperienced in heavy sand riding. And a common reaction to something that seems too much for us is to swear and curse at the challenge or to give up in disgust at the task or even at ourselves. And it was after witnessing the stress that these sand trails were having on the mind of some of our riders that I paused on the trail to record the following message. And as you watch it, remember the five tips that I share. One, be open to push into new territory. Two, change will happen and often with or without you. Three, make time to reflect and prepare. Four, expect challenges and their opportunities to grow. And five, learn to adapt your mind. So watch this following video and enjoy. So it's not everybody's definition of fun, but uh, we've just been riding sand trails on North Stradbroke Island. And always pushing boundaries, always looking to extend myself and being adaptive and looking to be agile. We're trying to be agile. When changing situations and circumstances and conditions 
are either thrust upon you or that you find yourself in. So I'm in between groups. There's a, a lead group that's shot ahead and just out here in nature. What a beautiful place to be and just having some time to yourself. So expect challenges. Don't panic. Don't cry. No need to swear and curse. It's like, what do I do? How do I apply what it is that I know? And as Einstein said, you can't solve a problem with the mind that created it. You might not have created the conditions, but you created the situation that you're in because you put yourself here. So what's the new mind that you need to develop? What's the new thinking? What do you need to push outside your zone on? What do you need to extend out and reach for? Here comes my group behind me. Alrighty. Stay safe and as always, live, love and serve.